Okay, it's time to cover our stab binding board. Okay, um, you have decorative paper. I hope it's big enough in your packet. I have found this pink simulated lizard skin. I love it. So what you're going to want to do is on one of your sheets of decorative paper, you're going to want to um, cut a really straight edge, probably with your uh, brass. Okay, let's readjust. I want to get started here. So you have your board. Okay, and we are going to glue. We're going to put the glue on this side. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to cover up your book cloth right here so you don't get any glue when you're painting the glue on okay ah, this is dried a little bit oh my gosh okay let's see if i can get this done fast yeah my glue is just a little bit thick right now but do you see how i can come up to that book cloth and kind of paint over it not kind of i can paint over it because i've got my uh, paper there to protect the book cloth. Okay, I'm gonna take it away. All right, I am going to, actually I can just flip that over. I'm gonna put this back down. I'm gonna take that beautiful straight edge on my simulated snake skin, and I am going to place that right over the top, just like so. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to take another sheet, put it on top to make sure that I'm not rubbing too hard on that paper. Then I take my bone, let's stick it on there, people! Come on, let's stick it on! Okay, did it work? Voila! Do, 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 do. Okay. So it's stuck on there. I'm going to take this away. I'm going to take my scrap paper away. I'm going to take my uh, brass. And, you know, I got a little excess glue right there. Before I take my brass and put it in uh, against that side, what I'll do is I'll just come along and I'll wipe off that excess. Okay. And so what I'm going to do now is I take my brass and I'm going to go along. And I got to cut this down. And you have done this 25 million times in my class, so you already know how to do this in your sleep, right? Okay, dink, dink. Okay, and then I need to find my see-through ruler. Okay, and that's the width of my board. I'm gonna mark that with a pencil. I'm gonna do it on this side, because I'm so fast, okay? Gonna take my brass, stick it over the top. Gonna cut that down. Do do do. Take it away. Cut it down. Do do. Take it away. All right. And I am going to take another piece of paper. Right. Even though my brush is pretty big, I'm gonna go ahead and do this because I'm gonna get this sucker done. I'm gonna get really. Slow and controlled anywhere, anytime I'm near the book cloth, right? Okay, what? There we go, flip it over and I'm gonna roll that over. Now I want you to know with this paper, this paper is really tough, doesn't want to stick in place. So what I have to do is kind of train it, meld it, okay? Now, remember this? I'm gonna nip that edge in, okay? I'm gonna come up to the top because we do head and tail. I'm gonna get my glue on here. I'm not gonna be too zealous when I'm near the book cloth, but there's not enough glue over there. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Over, I've turned this over. I'm gonna take the bone. Folding that down. Yeah, it's sticking nicely today. Who, who knew? All right, I've got one more side here, right? So I'm gonna take my glue, gonna paint it right on here. There's no book cloth, yay! So I can be a little more zealous with my glue. 
Okay. Throw it away. Roll it down. Hmm. Nice little edges. And if it's not perfect, do you see my action with my bone? How I take my bone and I just kind of roll it over. Okay. Wow. That is looking. Oh my gosh. That is so fine. Look at this. Okay. That's exactly what I want. All right. Beautiful cover. Now, let's talk about covering the inside. Okay. So this, you are going to take your, um, your interior decorative paper. Okay, and you are going to line it up and then you are going to cut it down to the exact size of the cover. This is just a little bit too big, okay? All right, so I'm gonna cut this down and I'm gonna do that right here as well. Okay, and I'm going to come back here. Now, what I want to show you is it's a little bit too big. It's fine on this edge. Do you see that? But I need to cut some off the top and the bottom. I want to cut about a quarter of an inch off. All right, so because that would give me an eighth, right? an eighth on top and bottom, head and tail. So let's go ahead and check that out. Taking off a quarter, got my brass, got my X-Acto knife, cutting it down, moving it away, com coming on back. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now what I don't like is I don't like the fact that there's a little bit of overage right here. Do you see how there's just a little bit? So what I'm going to do is very gently, either with my X-Acto knife or my pencil, I'm going to mark how much too big that is. Okay. There we go. And I want to cut that down once I've marked it. And it was a little bit bigger here at the top. Okay. All right. Much better. Okay. So now we are going to glue this. Whoops. We are going to glue this to this. Now, you know that mistake right here? We're just going to cover it up with the paper. Oh, so fantastic. Okay, so we're going to put the glue on the paper. Wow. And I'm going to be really careful because my glue is super dried out right now. It's going to take me some effort to get enough glue over the piece. Paper. I'm going to turn it around here. Don't want to get all my fingers deep into that glue, so I'm going to use <laughs> what fingernails are left. <laughs> okay, take it away. Bring it over here. Now, you need to slow down a bit here. You're going to place that down. All right. Gonna make sure we cover that ugly spot. Place that down. Okay, it's not exactly even. So what am I going to do? I'm going to wiggle it around a little bit. Do you see how I'm doing that? Okay. I'm going to make sure it covers down here because I didn't like that. I didn't like what happened down there. Gonna move it a little bit over here. Do you see how I'm doing that? Okay. Okay, I'm going to get another piece. Decorative paper. Pardon me, of scratch paper, one of those words. Ah, voila. Okay, 
So do you see how it covered my ugly spot? I've got an eighth of an inch all the way around. Okay, so front, back, fantastic. So the deal is you are going to do a second one of these, okay? And that's going to be the cover on your other side. And I do want to mention one more time that you most definitely want to get these holes poked because those are your sewing holes. And even before you do your sewing holes, what you're going to do is you're going to take your stack of paper with a spine that is taped to it. You're going to put that stack of paper in between. You're going to clamp these two and then you are going to take a tack or a pin and you are going to punch all the way through the two covers and the text stack. Okay, you have to go ahead and punch all the way through before uh, you start sewing your whole book together. Okay, and you know, the videos that I've provided for you, they show that, you know, what you, what you want to see in these videos is um, there are many ways to get to the end, like I've talked about, but um, I just want to make sure that you are able to uh, complete this aspect of it before you start sewing. All right. So if you have questions, you know what you're going to do? Give me a call. Until then, I'll see you later.